Hi and Assalamualaikum. I'm Ildina from Group 9, Section 1 Operating System and I was assigned to do Lab 2 Set B. So today I'm going to do a demonstration video to do Lab 2. So for the first question, uh, we have to write this code and run it to see the uh, three diagrams. So first, I have already opened my VMware workstation and also written the code of the program. So um, I'm going to display the content of the file that I created. So these are the program and then uh, to run it, you just use uh, this line of code. And I want to specify the output file name to um, output file. So let's execute the output file. So these are the output. You can see it says I love and then operating system and then class and difficult and then there are two uh, lines of back interesting. Okay, so from this tree diagram, uh, the first thing that we did is we assume that the process identifier is 21. So that means that in the program, before it runs the for statement, the PID, uh, the ID is 21. So the PID one is the next integer, which is 22. And then we run the for statement and it will produce a clone. So when it produces a clone, the PID one will be equal to zero, so that's why it prints I love. So uh, next, uh, the original PID is not zero, so it will uh, produce the output operating system just like this one. So the PID now is twenty three. I mean the PID one now is twenty three, and then after that. We can see that uh, PID2 is also assigned to Fox statement. So it will produce another clone. And the ID will be 23. And uh, since the ID2 equals to 0, so it will print class. So next, the parent PID2 equals to 24. So because the ID2 is not equal to 0, then it will print difficult. After it prints difficult, it will uh, go to Fox statement again and it will produce another clone and the PID3 will be equals to zero so it will print but interesting so there is a uh, two but interesting because the uh, other PID3 is not equals to zero so because there is no condition for PID3 that's why it prints but interesting uh, twice okay so that's it for question number one Okay, so for the next question, uh, let's see the content of the program first. I wrote in lab 2C. So these are all the uh, program that I wrote, which is also my answer for this question. So uh, we're going to run the program um, and specify the output name to output file name to outlab. And then we're going to execute the output file. All right. So uh, these are the output. And we can see that in the question, the original uh, node is actually the parent of all other nodes. So in this um, output, we can see that the original process is uh, original process identifier is 19164. So other notes, so other than original notes, the process identifier should be more than 19164. So and then uh, from original, it will go through Fox statement and first it will produce a clone one. So in here, process clone one will print the output. Uh, I am the obsolete version. So uh, in this uh, output, it says, I am the absolute version and my recent version is 19165. So 19165 refers to the clone one process identifier and then clone one will go through uh, the false statement again and it will produce clone two. So other than clone one, original also produce another clone, which is clone three. 
So clone tree here, it says uh, IMPP and the process identifier is 19166, which is logically after uh, 19165, that is the clone one process identifier. So, and then clone tree will produce clone four and it says the process identifier of my parent is 19167, which refers to the uh, PID for something like that. So uh, this, so the full uh, program is inside the Word document. So I think that is all from me. Thank you.